So brothers and sisters, to continue our journey, every one of us will die. Every one of us will die. And brothers and sisters, let me, let me, let me reflect here for a second. I did not grow up as a practicing Muslim. And there were certain turning points in my life. And one of them was when I learned about this test of death, the fitnat al maut And it was coupled with another verse, this verse, in the chapter of the cave. قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا Should we not tell you about those who really you know, their, their, their deeds were, were just really bad. Who? Those who went astray in this world, but actually thought they were doing good. And when I heard that verse, sorry, not heard it, when I really thought about that verse, with the test of death, it freaked me out. Because all my life, I thought, I'm not bad. I mean, I pray a little bit, I fast, you know. Alhamdulillah, I'm better than others. Look around you. Look at what the non-Muslims are doing. I'm much better than them. And so I lived most of my life thinking, Alhamdulillah, I'm not bad. And when you look at this verse, that they may be the biggest losers, those who went astray, because they thought they were doing good, but they weren't. And then this test of death that will really bring out the real you, it was a realization for me that I need to start understanding what Allah actually wants me to do. And then I can try to take steps towards that.